Sorry, just explain to us how you're feeling about this being your biggest exhibition ever. Yeah, I mean, it's been a crazy sort of intense few days just putting it together, so quite tired, but it, I'm really excited about it because, yeah, it's like definitely my biggest show in, in the UK and it's like lots of large size paintings and, scu and new sculptures and things. So, um, yeah, so I, yeah, I'm really excited to be able to show it in the Statue Gallery, which is an amazing space. And so, yeah. And just talk to us a little bit about your inspiration. Where do you get the ideas from? Well, so I guess my main sort of uh, thread is my sort of cartoon lobster alter ego, who's like narrating all the paintings. And the paintings are very much like my dialogue with art history. My ability as an individual today to be able to turn history a bit upside down and contextualize myself with artists from the past and turn ideas around and, and basically enter a dialogue with art history in a way. So I lay all of that on canvas. So that my, my paintings are in some ways are like mind maps of my dialogue with art history and like trying to push painting in a contemporary way, basically. And you've got kind of paintings and sculptures here. Talk to me about the differing processes and what you have to go through to get both of those so, mediums. So the, 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 the sculptures are actually quite similar to the paintings. Very, in philosophy, very similar in terms of the sort of layered and the, the, they're very juxtaposed, like real hoovers mixed with painted Rubens-esque horses with my cartoon lobster character and, and an abstract section so they're very much this like hybrid between different ideas um, and so they're very similar to the paintings they're just the process of obviously making them is a little bit more complex in terms of structurally but then the paintings have lots of extra details and are complex in the painting process so I think they're very much it's it's just about trying to push um, the image construction in painting in a new way and hybriding abstraction and realism and lots of different philosophies, almost like an orchestra of appropriation in a way, with my lobster conducting. Um, and you touched on your lobster there. Yeah. Talk to us about where it came from. Yeah, it's just a, a, a character that's really evolved in my work. I think I used to draw lobsters, like cartoon lobsters, and, and then it really just became my sort of image, and, and then I started painting myself as a lobster, and that was it. And then it really, now it's really my, the articulation of my artistic persona. And what was it about lobster? You could have chosen any animal. Yeah, for me, the lobster was like a symbol of surrealism. You know, Dali and uh, I'd reference lobsters a lot, and lots of surrealist poets and things were inspired by lobsters. So there was this sort of art historical connection with lobsters. So in a way, I like the symbolism that the lobster represented. And you have been called the godson of Andy Warhol. How do you feel when you hear such praise like that? Um, annoyed that I'm not actually the godson, because if I was the godson, maybe I'd have a huge collection of Annie pa paintings. Um, so, no, I mean, it was it was a fun quote, and, it, 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 you know, it's, it's fun. I mean, I don't mind. Yeah. And just talk to us a little bit about your outfit today, because you're not in lobster get-up, but you well, are all in... I, I'm, I'm like a cook's lobster. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm served up, and, and um, yeah. So, obviously, you have been working really hard, but... What's next in the pipeline for you? So I have a lot of shows in Asia next year, and so that's why I was excited about doing a show in London because I thought, well, I'm going to be traveling a lot next year, and I like the idea of doing something here, basically. So I have some shows in museums in China, basically, and then um, another show in Hong Kong. And, yeah. and what is it about the Saatchi Gallery that you love exhibiting? I love the space. I like the way it's like a museum, so people from all different walks of life come here, all different cultures, so it's, it's very open. It's not like stuffy, normal art galleries, which are quite... Um, Insular, it's very democratic and I like that. Yeah, cool.